I am Benjamin Randolph. And I'm Mason Moeller. And welcome back to your daily video now. Today for lunch, we have cowboy cavatini, tossed salad, garlic bread, steamed corn, mandarin oranges, and a cold milk. Let's take a look at today's holiday. Next, let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day. Hi, my name is Zeb Johnson, and here are your top five news stories of the day. Number one, the website for Biden's student loan forgiveness is open and ready for applications. Number two, Kroger and Albertsons, two major grocery retailers, are planning a merger by 2024. Number three, KBI wants to help in search for Richard Salisbury, Kansas man who, who's been missing for a month. Number four. James McDivitt, astronaut who played key roles in Apollo and Gemini missions, dies at 93. Number five, ASVAB sign up is due October 28th, available to any interest, juniors and seniors. Now, let's see what's happening this week at VCA, VCHS. Next, here's our word of the week. Today's word of the week is malicious, characterized by malice intending or intended to do harm. Let's take a look at some videos that went viral. What's up Valley Center? I got you guys again with this week's most viral videos. First and foremost, we got a squirrel playing with his little ball. Let's check this out. Next, we got a man playing with his cat. Next, with Halloween just around the corner, we got Halloween costume shenanigans. Let's see this. Down, Jill, down. Off the couch. Finally, Tennessee beat Alabama in college football, and so they decided to steal their goalposts and throw them in a river. Next, we asked some people what their dream car is. Hi, my name is Travis Blackburn. And Travis, what is your dream car? Um, a slug bug. Nice. My name is Hank. And Hank, what is your dream car? Probably a brand new F-250 diesel truck. Ava, Titus. And Ava, what is your dream car? A Cadillac CT6. My name's Hunter Huffman. Hunter, what would your dream car be? Probably a Porsche 911. Hi, my name is Avery Looney. And Avery, what is your dream car? Probably a black Range Rover. Now, a Halloween costume contest. Next, a KSU announcement. Make sure to go to the freshman and JV football games. Let's head on over to the weather. Hi, I'm Kennedy, and today's high is 60 degrees, and tonight's low is 41 degrees. Now for a quick blast of the past, let's wrap up with this day in history. Stay classy, EDC. October 24th, 1945. Birth of the United Nations. The charter of the global organization takes effect nearly two months after the Japanese surrender ending World War II. 1952. Dwight Eisenhower promises to bring the Korean War to an end. The Republican candidate for president makes his pledge on the campaign trail. Only in that way could I learn how best to serve the American people in the cause of peace. I shall go to Korea. Eisenhower wins the presidential election and visits Korea over a month later. 2002. In Maryland, authorities arrest two people in connection with weeks of deadly sniper attacks in the Washington, D.C. area. They catch John Mohammed and Lee Malvo after the series of shootings kills 10 people and wounds three. 
Muhammad is sentenced to death in Virginia and life in prison in Maryland. Malvo gets a life sentence in both states. 2003. The supersonic Concorde makes its last transatlantic trip, concluding 27 years of commercial service. Three of the luxury passenger jets land at Heathrow Airport outside London, all arriving from New York's John F. Kennedy Airport. 2005, civil rights activist Rosa Parks dies. In 1955, Parks made a simple decision that sparked a revolution. When a white man demanded she give up her seat on a Montgomery, Alabama bus, the then 42-year-old seamstress said no. Her act of defiance earned her the title Mother of the Civil Rights Movement. Parks was 92. And 1991. Gene Roddenberry, creator of the sci-fi TV series Star Trek, dies in Santa Monica, California. He was 70. Today in History, October 24th, Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press. <laughs>